Welcome to Wicklow County Matters. I'm Paul Shoiga, standing in for Emily, who's having a well-deserved break. I'm here in the Evoca Gallery, and I'll be talking to Rod Coyne about art classes, his gallery, and the 1916 exhibition. Rod, it's an absolute pleasure to be here in the Evoca Paint and School and Gallery. Tell us how you started. Well, probably the end of a long of a long journey. Uh, I went to college in Cork, lived there for three years, and then I spent ten years living and working in Dusseldorf in Germany. Um, well, I was worth painting Irish landscapes there, so it was clearly time to come home and work in the Irish land. And we found this place, which was the Evoca Gift Centre, and, and the building had loads of different carnations, but there was always uh, incarnations over the years. But there was always the uh, um, this public space as part of it. So that's perfect. We could we could have a place to live and we could have a studio and a gallery all in one. Rod, well, you set up the gallery in 2003 and then you set up the school in 2009, which were very tough times in Ireland. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, but the painting school put me in a different category. It meant people who wouldn't otherwise cross the threshold, they were coming into the gallery then to be part of that. And people who were here, there, it was more than just a luxury item, as in a painting on a wall, because they were, they were learning a new skill. And, and much more than learning how to paint, there's, there's a group dynamic of working with people in the class. And there's also, you know, there's a very, there's a very meditative effect that you have. I mean, the class might be dynamic and, and, and happening, but people, when they go away from the class, they actually usually feel grounded afterwards. So I, I was offering something quite different than what I'd offered before, and just creating my paintings and exhibiting and, and, and looking to sell those. So it, it, took, it took on legs very quickly. There was, even before I started, I had actually a list of people who were interested going back four or five years before that, that knocking on the door, when are you gonna do classes, Rod? And I was kind of long fingering it for a long time. Um, but uh, it had always been part of the plan since 2003 when we started out here. Well, there's a great saying where there's an artist in all of us. Is that true or false? Well, there's, there's so many different aspects to that, but what, what you can definitely say for a fact is, you know, we'll, we'll probably all learn to drive, but we won't all be Formula One racing car drivers. So, uh, and I think, I think painting should be there for everybody because everyone should enjoy it because it, it is literally, it's a very satisfying thing, you know, mixing up paint and just applying it to a surface and seeing what happens if it runs down or if they blend or mix or if you rub it with your arm or your elbow, what happens then, all that sort of thing. There's an excitement there. So we used to do it when we were two and three year olds and we couldn't get enough of it, you know, and you'd hold up a picture there with a, a, a circle and two dots and daddy, that's you, you know, and, but you had that and, and that gets lost over the years when you're growing up. So what we do here is try and get back into that a little bit. And that's what I mean, that's, that's exactly the thing that everybody should be allowed to enjoy that and everyone should be allowed to revisit that, that part of their childhood. So it means that, that I can teach people how to paint. I can teach them a lot about painting, the nuts and bolts of it. I can break it down into bite-sized uh, chunks, but I can't actually teach somebody to be an artist. That does come from the inside out and, and, and you have to feel driven to want to become an artist, I think, you know, and it has to be your chosen field. Well, have you many students that would have been under your uh, tutorship and have gone on to set up their own gallery? I had plenty of students here, and you met one today, who'd actually studied in art college, and having left art college, gone off and done something completely different. And they've come to me as a way to find their way back to their own art. And you can see these people straight away, they, 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 they have a technical ability and they, visually they can see stuff and they can, they, can, they can illustrate and get it down on the page, whereas other people really have to labour at, at it. They have, they have a natural in, inclination towards that. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if some of those will go on to having rediscovered the, their, their art and picked up the trail that they left off after college to actually have their own exhibitions and show their own work. Fiona, how did you hear about the Evoca Painting School? Well, I live locally and I drive past it all the time and I used to see the paintings in the windows and sort of thought, I'd kind of like to have a go at that. So then somebody, I, I knew somebody who was doing the classes and said they were really nice, so I thought, ah, sure, give it a go. How have you found it so far? Well, great. I think for me, it's, I really like the kind of 
loose style that Rod has with his painting. And I kind of find I'm more of an illustrative type of when I when I do draw that it's very kind of tight and illustrative. So I just thought it felt like it would be a good way to free up the way that I do art. And do you find it very relaxing and meditating working here in, in the art school? No, I find it a laugh. <laughs> There's great banter. And I suppose for me, like, I find that on a Sunday evening, I kind of think, oh, God, now I've got to work on Monday. And then I think, oh, but that's OK, I've got painting on Tuesday. So it's actually a real piece of lightness in the week. And can you tell us about the, the, the piece you've done here? Well, this morning, what we were doing is we are painting this. It's a juice press. It's very shiny. It's a machine-tooled chrome object. And uh, it's a very hard thing to capture on paint but uh, we started with some drawings. First of all, you do a continuous line drawing, then you do a blind drawing where you're not actually looking at the paper. And that tries, that helps to teach your eye where you want to go with, with the paint or the pencil. And, um, and then eventually we came in and just did two colours today. So just a monochrome approach. And would the blind drawing be done on the same page and it's painted over, or how, can you explain that? No, it's a separate, it's an exercise. So we all go away at the end of the week with a couple of separate pages as part of the exercise. And it uh, can be very amusing to see how different or like the object the blind drawing might be. What would you say the difference is of, of painting um, an actual photograph or painting a, a live object in front of you? Um, well, I think they have a lot of things in common, but the live object is just more immediate. The light might change. You have to capture it as it is. And the photograph, obviously, you can do it at home or in the evenings, or you wouldn't need the same kind of light. But there's a lot to be learned from both approaches. Ed, you're part of the art class today. You're painting the juice press as well. What do you take home from leaving here today? Well, every day we look at different techniques and we go through some practical exercises of both sketching and then also painting, putting into practice what Rod shows us. So it allows us to go home and I, I will do over the next week, let's say, some additional examples of this. And, you know, it's something we could fit in in a few um, minutes in the evening. So since Rod's school opened in 2009, do you think uh, more local people might have taken an interest in, in art? I think so. I think he's been quite high profile with his work, I think, both in locally but also nationally. I'd have sort of followed his work quite, quite a bit. Um, my sister is a, an art teacher, so I always had an inclination and an interest, so so was attracted to it. I would say the detail of the techniques, um, and uh, I know other people have mentioned the loose style, and I think that's a very good way to start. Uh, don't be afraid of the paint, just get it down on paper, get used to, mi used to mixing, and then nothing is ever a mistake. It's a learning process, and you, you keep moving on from there. Thanks a million for coming down to the Evoca Studio Gallery. We've really enjoyed having you here. And as a little memento of your uh, visit, I have a DVD to present you with. Thanks very much, So you Rod. can brush up on your own painting skills. Rod, appreciate it. We wish you the best of luck here in the Evoca Gallery. We learned a lot here today about art and history. Best of luck in the exhibition. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in to Wicklow County Matters. See you the same time, same place next week.